It is day two of spring. I don't know where Steve is. Steve like ran off this morning. I got up, oh, uh, not that long ago. And he's just not here. So I am going to do house stuff, I guess, until he shows up. I don't know where he went. I'm pretty sure the only evidence I have, and I know this house is really dark, the only evidence I have that he went out in the snow is that this cabinet is open. And again, I know it's very dark, but this cabinet is full of all of the winter stuff. And it was open. So I think that's my only clue. Jed already went out and played in the snow, but he barked at the neighbor, so he had to come in. Right, bud? You were barking. Hmm? We don't bark in this house. Can you lay down? Very good boy. Very good job. You're a good boy. I know all you want to do is play, don't you? Hmm? Is this your favorite toy? His uncle got a mess. <gasps> but it's his favorite. <laughs> I know. His, his uncle loves him too. Is it snowing outside? Are you so excited? Are you so excited? Look at your new footprints. Look at your new footprints. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what? Dad, throw the snow at me. Throw the snow with me!
But notice there's a small mountain forming. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe get a mountain jet. to do with my left hand. <laughs> Maybe I should switch. Two, zero, one, eight. Okay, there. All right, now you want it back? Here you go. You're welcome. You've done very well, I'm very excited. The drywall's gonna fit in there really nicely. Uh, we only have one spot that we need to repair on the trim, which is pretty good. Thankfully, Steve also saved the piece, which is right there. So we'll just glue that bad boy back in. That won't be so bad. Right. So he's currently measuring the ones that are going to go in that corner and that corner. Yep. And then we're going to put a top plate on. I'll go up there. And we just fill in all the other studs. Every 16 inches? Yeah. 16 inches. Because we're using drywall, it has to be modern code, which is 16 even though the wooden ones are 24. That's old school. Yeah. We're new school. So we're gonna do like an upward sweeping type motion. Do you need this end since you have a better, since you have bigger, more of my climbing up on that? Which job would you like? This one. Okay. Is that ladder adequate for you or do you want the taller ladder? I don't need to get all the way to the top. I need to hold this into the corner, don't I? Yeah, basically yeah. suspending it. That goes all the way around. So now we need to fill in, as we were talking about, fill in every 16 inches with another stud. Right. Right. Well, first I gotta anchor, like this side, this corner up here is anchored. That one isn't, that one isn't, and that one isn't. So that's the first step, is to get all four to be right. attached to each other. I'll probably do some lag screws then into mm -hmm. the studs on either side. What's a lag screw? Do you have any of those up here? Them. Big angry monsters. So really big screws. Yeah, the whole idea is it is, gives you a lot of depth. Technically, I'm probably using the term right, a true lag screw would have like much bigger and angrier threads. Yeah. But this isn't 
something like load bearing. Or no, it's a it's a quote unquote decorative wall. It just needs to not fall over. Be <laughs> more, more than adequately <laughs> prevent. So. Uh, so that's that's that. We have put up a wall. Don't we just quickly started a wall. Yeah. One step at a time. Right. We'll get the studs in, and then you drywall. Actually, and then you wiring. Yes, yeah, so you have to do the wiring first. That's, this is, that is the entire point of this entire exercise is to put modern electric in this house. Right. And we wanted to start at the top and work our way down. I don't know why that made sense to us. Oh, because we have two other major renovations to do. We have a bathroom that we're going to do and a kitchen that we're going to do. But those are later down Those are later because we can't afford them because they're expensive. So we're starting with something that we can handle right. to try and get the electrical done. So starting at the top and working your way down actually makes sense for us right now. Well, now I'm into I'm building structural stuff that those renovations will depend on. Correct. Like new plumbing mm -hmm. and new electrical and all. And while that. he's working on all this stuff, so that it, it's more of a solo show and less of a team effort, um, I'm planning the kitchen and our trip to the Fundy <laughs> and Florida and anything else I have to do major research on. You smell like a dog. He is a dog. Okay, so we have questions that yes. we have found in commentary. Okay, so the first question is, uh, why are you running a 220 wire to the third floor? Uh, it eventually will be for air conditioning. We were looking at doing a split system, which has a compressor that mounts on the outside of the house up there, because it's going to serve both the office and our room, as well as the kids' room, which is underneath that. So mm -hmm. mounting the compressor up there makes the most sense, instead of having to run refrigerant lines all the way up the side of the house. Yeah, so it's going to get mounted on the roof right outside that window. Right. So well, we, Spike was sitting in the other day. Right, so we did yeah. need power up there, obviously, and it was easier to run that than run refrigerant. So that's why there's a 220 line. Right. Okay, next question. I can't help but notice the license plates. What's the story? <laughs> it's less of a story than people make it out to be. Like, I saw people decoding what the letters <laughs> stood Where for. Where it was from. <laughs> it's literally, I, I, I had a BMW at the time, and it had come with the European-style uh, license plate bracket on the front and I was like I should get a euro plate for this that'd be cool where'd you buy it um, there's some like europlates.com or whatever like it might not be that actual oh, site really? there's like a site that sells European license okay. plates so you, can you, pick, just, like, the... you can pick which country of the European Union it's from so that's what the D is is Deutschland in this case there's a so, D on there? Yeah, like in the blue stripe, there's a D. Ah, okay. And it has like the little EU thing with all the stars. Uh-huh. Um, so like the British ones will say like GB for Great Britain and like I each... haven't looked at this okay. plate that closely. I should have brought it down here. It would have been great for the video. Uh, but yeah, essentially, um, I just went on this website and like looked at their font of all the different letters and was like, these letters look cool. And <laughs> just literally typed in a random string with some letters and numbers and a hyphen in the middle and didn't pay attention to all the how they're actually formatted in Germany. So as the one commenter pointed out, you yes, it up. it's completely invalid. It's broken. Would, it would never be a real plate. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the story is I wanted a, a European plate for my car. And for your BMW. Randomly punched in letters and numbers and got one. Good job. So, uh, did you spray lube on those wires? I did not, but only because we didn't have the right kind. Um, as many of you pointed out, yes, it is much easier if you lube your wires before you pull them. Um, but we only had like degrading oils, like food-based oils, which yeah. will rot and spoil. Yeah, we weren't interested in having I mean, rot in our tubes. Right, so I would have had to get like special like silicone-based lube, I think. Silicon? That'd be silicone in this case. Silicon's what they use in transistors. Oh, So okay. yeah, it would have been silicone-based. Either way, I didn't have any, uh, so we just sucked it up and used good old-fashioned horsepower, I guess. Or, no, not horsepower, it would be manpower. Yeah. Slash woman power. Whatever. Okay. Person person power? What's the fluid? Human correct way to power. Alright. Last question for our question and answer section. Why did you decide to run Romex in the conduit? Uh because it's allowed, actually. Yeah. And it's a heck of a lot easier than trying to pull each of those wires individually. It's, That's true. It's really nice. Plus the other benefit of conduit is that let's say down the road after I've patched all these walls up, we decide we want to run something else. Um, I ran a pull string up. You might see it in the video. There's like a thin nylon cord. That There's a lot of it. I went up with those. And A, it helps you get them up there in the first place. But B, if you run another pull string the second time, then if you ever want to pull anything else, you just yank the string and up it comes. So yeah, conduit is super easy for that. And it basically lets you then add to it forever, essentially. So Good job. But yes, for anyone who was pointing out that you couldn't do it based on the electrical code, 
I actually highlighted the appropriate section, which oh is God. Article 334, which is about non-metallic sheath cable, which is the type we're using. This is the um, National Electrical Code 2011. Right. Section 2 under installation, and then under 334.15 for exposed work, um, the section B of that is protection from physical damage, which is where you were allowed to run Romex in conduit. So as we were pulling it, I was worried the cables were going to get physically damaged, therefore I ran them into conduit. So yes. Ah, you, you snarky little punk. <laughs> so yes, you can run Romex in a conduit. You have to be careful when you do it because normally when you do conduit, there's a certain percentage of fiddle. I think you have to say below 40% fill. So there'd be 60% empty space in there and that's to allow sufficient air for the cooling of the wires. Okay. Um, so when you do Romex, you have to change your calculations a little bit more. You can run basically less stuff in the conduit than you otherwise would. Ah. Um, because the, heat. The, the jacket A insulates it and B takes up more physical space. Okay. Uh, I did those calculations and that's why we did inch and a quarter conduit for our stuff. So. Cool. We're good. That's the end of our Q&A session, guys. Keep sending them. Yep, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Yes, you will. All right, one more. One more, okay? Ugh. <laughs>